the entire vision of how to get everybody there. That's what I do. It doesn't matter if it's your first time growing. It doesn't matter if you don't like me and then you go to another channel and after a year, you come back to my show and you say something like, uh, you say something uh, like, uh, like uh, Greg says, uh, I spent the last year trying to save my plants, which you said politely were dead. I'm ready to just do whatever you say. You were right. I would like to reuse the remaining 30 minutes of my consult time uh, soon. Do you have any appointments available? Uh, let's just quickly go back. I spent the last year trying to save my plants which you said politely, I, I, he must be talking about someone else because this must be a female because rarely am I polite to a dude like that. They don't want to hear it. <laughs> All I'm saying is different people learn in different ways. And in our target demographic, 18 to 49 year old, dumb, stupid, aggressive males, just like me, just like me, they don't hear so good. All I'm saying is I know my target demographic and the rare bird that comes in that doesn't fit, you watch me adjust on the show. I mean, the f Store phone is ringing. I used to answer the phone like I'd forward it to my house like eight o'clock, real boss. <laughs> I spent the last year trying to save my plants, which you said politely were dead. I'm ready to just do whatever you say. And all I'm telling you is leave them the fuck alone. Less light, less water, less nutrients. How the fuck can you argue with that? All I'm saying is this mathematically, if you don't kill your plant, let's say you could have done more and more, but let's say you don't kill your plants. You don't have any problems. And let's say you get 75% of what was possible. Dude, that's pretty fucking good for a first run. I mean, Remo just complimented his kid on a first run. Even though, you know what I mean? Like, who knows? You know what I mean? And so all I'm saying is, if you kill your plant, you've lost. I've spent the last year. That's why when I ask you guys, what's the most expensive thing when it comes to growing cannabis? What's the number one? most expensive thing when it comes to growing cannabis. What's the number one thing when it comes to growing cannabis? And that's time. This guy could have had, if you had a two light rotation in a year, you would have had six harvests, five anyway, you would have been master of the universe. You would have been master of the Groverse. It's a fucking plant, man. You watched me top it on the show two weekends ago. It's a plant. This ain't rocket science. And yet, I can't get you guys not to kill him. Of course you think it's explosive growth with a new... Time. Time. Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. The book. Buy it. Yeah. The most... Ex the guy lost a year. Six harvests at a 600 watt light. Free harvest with a pound. You gotta, let's just say the last three harvests came out, you got a pound three times. You got two pounds in the first year. You're, you're over it. You failed so bad, you're ready to listen. Think about, think about, think about all the torture in the last year that you've had, watching your plants fail to thrive, to wither and die. Then think about all the research you did and, and how come none of them said, how come you're here? You're like, Jonathan, you're like, fuck, what was it? Who, 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 uh, um, uh, who, Fuck, it was like Marcus. Oh, Maynard. Maynard Gull. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Jonathan Livingston Seagull can see the forest for the trees. And he can also see the trees. 
Now this is a seagull who decided that he wanted to fly faster than any seagull has ever flown in the history of seagulldom. And he spent his days and nights and weekends and the flock finally outcast him and he didn't even care. Fletcher. It was Fletch. No, it was Maynard. Maynard with the... And so now Jonathan has attained a new level of existence. He is in a way that none of the other seagulls have been before. And he has attained this level of enlightenment. And suddenly he's brought into a new, bigger universe with other birds that have stronger wings. And he is brought into a larger universe. In the same way that Luke Skywalker took a step into a larger universe when he was able to close his eyes and feel the force. Now, I know these things aren't real. I, I know I'm citing fiction. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying that at some point, Jonathan goes back home, the seagull goes back home, and he tries to bring his enlightenment to the flock. How enlightened can you be without the desire to help other people? That's why you, do, what you guys don't know, but, okay, so I do the medical procedure. I go all over the place. Every facility I go to, I try to find one person and I try to do things for that person, whomever, whatever, like sort of the saddest person in the hall, but is still alert and oriented enough to enjoy it. I, I ask the nurses if I can bring them like treats from the supermarket. It's tough to go to an environment with so much sadness and not do anything and not do anything for so many people. There's so much sadness that I see. And to show up and not even bring something like, I, it was so sad, I bring stuff, it's so sad, and I bring stuff. And so Jonathan Livingston Siegel comes back to the flock and Maynard Gull with his broken wing that just accepts tidbits from the other seagulls. Maynard Gull uh, asked Jonathan what he can do. And a lot of times with five surgeries last year, I feel like Maynard Gull. And when you get the opportunity to go and give something back, you do. So when you guys see the grow boss, well, sorry, I do. So when you guys see the grow boss yelling, that's cause of you. It's not who I want to be. <laughs> if we could give each other a hug, don't touch me. If we could give each other a hug and I could share the information and you could accept it that way, That'd be great. Don't, don't touch me. But, but, but we can't. And so that's all I'm saying is the United States seems to have a lot of 18 to 49 year old dumb, stupid, aggressive males. Fuck yeah.